you guys. Um. Can we turn on this air? The air is very loud, isn't it? Sorry. Sorry. Hot these days. Anyway. Um. Hey. So I wanted to say that I'm pretty sure that my phone has been tapped or I don't know what you want to call that but every time I do something with the phone like I don't know occasionally I will hear the sounds of a computer like you know those typical sounds you'd hear of a computer like the the noises it makes, da dum, da dum, da dum. Like if you enter a, a site and it didn't go through, it makes that noise. Or when you click on the screen, you know, with the with a mouse or something, those sounds come up when I'm either on a phone call or uh, even online, just on through YouTube or something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure that my phone. <laughs> this is this sounds crazy and paranoid. But I, 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 um, I did have a virus on my phone a while back. Um, I resetted it and um, rebooted it, I guess, um, a few times. And I reset the whole phone. And I was like, okay, maybe the, you know, nothing's going to happen. And then I started receiving calls from unknown weird numbers phone numbers like those phone numbers you use from on like being on a computer you might use um just random phone numbers random area codes um i'm still getting them um a lot of times i before i recognize what was going on i would answer and uh it would be a message saying Hello, blah blah blah. We're going to um, we're going to uh, process three hundred and fifty dollars out of your account. Please call this number to cancel this transaction. And it would just or occasionally would would call me and some random amount of money they would claim that they're taking on my bank account. So yeah. Uh, I still get those numbers and I block them. I have like a thing that says that will um, screen out the calls and can tell if they're if they're like a scam. It says scam likely on my phone when the phone rings. So <laughs> yeah, so something's going on. Um, I, it, it's just like I think about where this could have come from or who could be doing that and uh you know of course i i've i've had very devious toxic uh, exes exes that are you know are really disturbed and uh sick so most likely it's my either it's just like a random hacker or it's my ex that he was like skilled in hacking computers or something and you know because he's just I don't know I, I don't know um so we didn't we ended on okay terms but not really because um this is a different boyfriend. This is not my husband. This is the boyfriend I had after him. After my husband. So, uh, he, this is the one I did a video on reviewing his psychological report from a psychiatrist. So, if you want to go back in my videos and you'll find it. It's like black and white, I think. And, um, it says on there, reading the psychological psychological exam of my ex and um so he's got serious issues and he would do something like that you know um I don't know I don't know anything I could expect anything to happen to me because of 
unfortunately when you involve yourself with a certain kind of person um they don't walk away quietly and normally like a healthier person would so um you know they believe in revenge and all kinds of things i i don't know i've heard so many horrible stories that it just it gets me really frightened so Another thing is I left my apartment because of that reason. Because I didn't want to be... Because um, he would have... I was afraid of him retaliating against me. And... Um, this this hacking of my phone thing kind of is getting my, my mind running again to think uh, if he's involved. Because he knows my phone number and all that. This is a newer phone, but... You can still hack into all my accounts and things like that. So I, I really don't know <laughs> the justice system. I mean, they did, there's the minimal they could really do about things like that. People hacking into your account. So <clears throat> I don't know. I have to deal with that. Then I have to deal with my ex coming after me with a lawsuit. And, and it's just like, okay, where do I run? I can't go anywhere. I can't run. I can't. I can't handle this anymore. Like, I have no support and nobody backing me up. And that's not normal. And that's how you become a victim because you don't have anybody backing you up. You don't have family. You don't have friends backing you up. So, uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm scared of, of everything. I'm scared of everything because of the kind of people that I'm around and the people in my family and all that. It's just, there's no safe space. There's no comfort. There's no family comfort. Nothing. I just want to run away somewhere. That's all. That's what I Somewhere that nobody will find me, but somehow somebody might find me. I don't know. You know? And, my, and I'm gonna lose my son now because he's gonna come back and, and pick up my son and disappear with him, and that'll be the end of it. I'll never see them again. I already know that. Because it shows. You know? It shows. They don't answer it. My daughter is gonna answer my call. time um, moving out of here uh, my rent is going up <laughs> uh, my rent is going up by a hundred dollars that's uh, quite a bit of money if you think about it like thousand two hundred dollars extra a year that's what it means when you add a hundred dollars um yeah i don't want to do it i don't want to do this alone i don't want to be alone anymore How do you reverse that? How do you reverse those kinds of decisions? Like, when you had kids and 
and you had kids with the wrong guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wasted your precious eggs on somebody that's Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to forgive myself for that. <sighs> because that's not what I wanted. And, um, you know, that's not how I, I envisioned my life to be. But he did lie about his intentions. And that's what the narcissist does. They lie. They tell you that, you, you know, the, the way that you meet them, like Sam Vaknin says, um, when you meet them, you, you get the fo false assumption or, you know, that these people are in it for a long-term relationship. And, um, in reality, that's not what they're, that's not what they're around for. So, I have a lot of trouble um, forgiving myself for being fooled, continuously fooled by him and other people. It's not only him, it's so many other people. There's so many things I've got myself into that I kind of walked into it naive and, you know... I just want to start over. I want to start over. I want to rewrite a rewrite of my life. I don't want to continue on the way that it has started. You know, like it was. It's a defect. It's a. This is not where I'm supposed to be in life right now. Because the way I am, you know, inside is not how, what my life shows. It's not who I am. So, um, you don't get chances. You don't get food, second, third, fourth chances. You just get this one chance in life. And and my, my the parents that raised me knew this, and they still and they still set me up to fail, and that's something I don't understand. from here from here on I'm not having a good time I'm not having a good I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm not feeling well. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just babbling on now. Incoherently, so... Sorry about that. Um, please leave a comment. Share, like, subscribe. You know. You know the deal. Okay. Alright. Hope everyone's well. And uh, take care of yourselves. Bye.